my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw that cute bus. I take this photo of the bus and decided to create that bus in Adobe Illustrator and if you're interested how you can do it in Adobe Illustrator, please watch this tutorial. And if you want to see me not only as a graphic designer, but as a real girl in real life, you can come to my Instagram and where you can see how I live in Montenegro in a small town Herzog Novi. And now let's start to draw cute bus in Adobe Illustrator. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. Ok guys, hope your workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take that yellow color and rectangle tool and create the square. Like that. Now let's take blue color and rectangle tool and create one more rectangle here. Ok, let's take that one and create one more rectangle here. Ok, now let's take add anchor point tool, add one point here and one point here, direct selection tool, select that point and this one and move them down. Ok, now select this point and that one. Hold and drag to round corners. Now let's take dark blue color and pen tool. And let's draw the shapes of the sea here. It's very easy. Let's move that point a little down like that and the same here. Ok, now let's take light color, that one and ellipse tool and create the circle and select the circle and make it a little bigger move it down maybe here and select the circle and background and send to back now take a direct selection tool and select that point on the circle and move that point a little to the right to make it a little unperfect. Ok, and now let's take one more time ellipse, create small ellipse, object, distort and transform, packer and blot and make that option, object, expand appearance. Ok, and now let's play with that shape, make copies, make them bigger, smaller and put them in the places you like. 
just copy and paste and make your design. And as well you can add some ellipses like this. Now red color rectangle tool and create rectangle with the size 767 to 188. Okay. And let's create one more rectangle with the size 767 to 215. Okay. And put it here. Like that. Align them. Now let's uh, take uh, add anchor point tool, add one point here, direct selection tool, select this point and move it to the right. Okay, and at one point, let's change stroke to fill to see it and um, fill to stroke and at one point here. And the same select that point and move it to the left like this. Okay, now let's uh, select pen tool and create here the shape like this. One point, the second point, here the third point and round the line like that. And here you can make a perfect shape like this. Close the path. Now change fill to stroke, stroke to fill here and here. Now select both shapes for finder, intersect. Okay. Now let's take direct selection tool and round that corner and round this one okay now let's again take pen tool with the same color and create with help of paint tool the line here one more time okay change fill to stroke the size will be seven now object expand appearance okay select both shapes red and the line and delete unwanted parts with help of Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and delete unwanted part. Okay. Now let's create one more rectangle here. like that. Direct selection tool, select that point and move them, move it like this. Okay. 
and uh, let's take direct section tool and round that corner like this and the same round that corner great Now let's take red color and create here the line like this with rectangle tool. Select these two shapes and delete unwanted parts with help of shape builder tool. Let's take dark gray color and rectangle tool and create here some rectangles it will be windows you can take dark gray color or light gray color as you like move that point like this with help of direct section tool and arrows on your keyboard now let's um, now let's delete here unwanted part And now we need to round corners. Let's select these three shapes and round corners like this with direct selection tool. And now here we need to select only these two corners and round this one. Now we need to take that color and create here the line with help of pen tool fill to stroke and the size will be uh, let it be 5 ok let's move it a little to the right now let's take this color in the fill and uh, let's create highlights you can create highlights with help of a pen tool or with help of a rectangle tool so as you like I'm going to show you and with help of pen tool and the help of rectangle tool and the little unwanted parts with help of direct uh, shape builder tool okay highlights are ready now let's take pen tool and create here dark gray shape we need dark gray in the stroke without color and let's take that shape of the stroke with round corners and round that corner with direct selection tool let's make it a little fatter maybe five or seven as you like let's take red color and rectangle tool create here the rectangle change stroke to fill and round corners make it fatter and round corners create here dark red 
shadow and delete unwanted part okay let's move on now let's create some lines let's take a line tool create the line here we need dark gray color in the stroke the size will be five or seven as you like and let's take that stroke with round corner and hold alt make the copy and ctrl d as many times as you need okay it's ready um, now let's create next shape uh, dark gray color and ellipse tool here and rectangle tool we need to cut off a part of the ellipse select both shapes pathfinder intersect okay direct section tool and make that shape unperfect move that point like this like this okay uh, now uh, let's take that color and create rectangle here bring that shape to front now dark section tool and round this side now we need to take gray color and ellipse tool create here one more ellipse make it smaller move here make a copy of that ellipse and make it smaller take that color okay let it be here now copy and paste one more time make it smaller bring here and take this color and now you can select all shapes and align them vertical and horizontal okay it's ready you can stay it like this uh, or you can select all shapes group and transform share and 13 degrees okay now uh, let's select the wheel and make the copy hold out and make the copy and bring it here okay move it a little up okay now it's great now let's like that shape make a copy bring here line okay now we need to move it a little like the, this and here we need to unround the corner and here we need round corners okay now let's make this shape a little longer with direct section tool and arrows on your keyboards 
Uh, okay, it's ready. Now we need to take a rounded rectangle tool and create here a rounded rectangle like this. Take red color and um, dark red color and create here with help of pen tool shadow like this. Let's round here and here and here corners with dark section tool and delete here unwanted part. And we need to bring their wheel, the wheels and these shapes to front and the same here. And that one. Okay, and these shapes. You can bring all shapes or only these shapes, what we don't see. Okay, like that. Uh, and now let's uh, take that color and rectangle tool with without stroke and we need to add some shadows here delete unwanted part and let's bring this to front and do the same here and here okay now let's take again light color and create here the door with pen tool Okay, we need to round this corner and this one. And let's make it fatter, for example, 5 or 4 or 7, as you like, or 3. Um, now we need to make the line here a little longer like that and mm, let's take yellow color and create the shape here okay and round corners here And one more shape here. Like this. Okay, it's ready. And let's create here one more shape with rectangle tool. Let's round corners. Take one more rectangle. Create here the rectangle. We create here the shadow. Now copy and paste that shape. Select, select both shapes. Pathfinder intersect and let's take this 
color for the shadow. Okay, you can make it smaller and move down. And let's take this color for the shadow and multiply. Bring these shapes to front. Okay, and let's add one more uh, detail. Let's take that light color and pen tool, create here uh, the shape like that. And ellipse tools, ellip ellipse tool. Create some ellipses here. Like this. Okay. And you can play with their shapes with direct selection tool to make it a little funny. Select all shapes and Pathfinder Unite. We need to add here one more and Pathfinder Unite and transparency. Let it be, for example, 40. Okay, it's ready. Okay, guys, our cute bus is ready. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you liked this tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Bye.